Hello, this is Jennifer from Paper This and That. I've decided to do something that I haven't done in a long time. I've done tutorials, but I haven't done a project like make a card or anything like that on video before. So this is my first attempt. And what I've done is I've went into the Cricut Craft Room and used the digital version of create a card cartridge and I thought I would just do a little exploration of this cartridge and try to make a simple card out of it. I've already did some advanced work. I set everything up. I've already cut my pieces and what I did is uh, in Cricut Craft Room I put everything on my mat then I resized it everything together I grouped it all so everything would be uniform and I did have to adjust the bird size a little bit the bird my birdie's still probably a little bit big but that's okay I didn't want a super small bird either but anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and make this card this morning I'm going to give this to Included in a package for my swap partner on mini album scraps for a swap that we did. That I still have to get her book to her because I was out with really sick for a couple weeks. And it is late, but she is aware that I was sick. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything off my mat now. But what I did is when I resized this, I tried to make the card the size that I wanted it. It's probably still going to be a little bit small, but it's meant to be, in my book, what I was looking for is to do like a little note card type thing. But I measured it to where this was about 10 inches long and about 5 inches wide. So that's the size of the card that I did. So I'm going to have to score that. This little section here, though, I don't know about you, but big sections like this, I'm going to set this aside. I could probably use this on another project as a some kind of background or some kind of for a title or something to put on a mini or something, or even another card and put something in the middle here. So I'm going to save that. I was trying to use up some of my scraps. This here was just a piece left over from some other project, and I was able, it was big enough to use for my birdie. I was very pleased how well this cut out. This isn't a brand new mat. This mat here is something else I did. Is I just wasn't happy with the 12 by 24 mat. And I actually ruined a mat because it was so sticky. And when I tried to cut a bunch of projects on it, all the paper, I tried to cut really intricate projects, which I shouldn't have done on one of the mats. And all the paper stuck to it. I couldn't get it off. I had to totally trash out mat, so that was a waste of money. But for me, the 12 by 12 is more manageable. <coughs> so I actually cut one mat in half. It, my leftover 12 by 24, and made it a 12 by 12, and it works great. I got the 12 by 24 thing, and I cut really big, cut a lot of pieces at one time. But you know what? It just wasn't working out for me. I'm not a fan of the 12 by 24 mats. And I saved that my 12 by 24s for a long I had them for a good year. Brand new in the package, never opened them. And 
I was getting to the point where all my other mats weren't sticky anymore and I didn't have anything to make them sticky so I broke out my 12 by 24 mats and this was the final result of that okay and yes my craft desk is a mess I guess I should have named my blog instead of paper this and that I should have named it the messy, uh, the messy crafter because <laughs> that's pretty much what I am. Because I have multiple projects involved. I like two other projects involved on my desk right now. And you can see leftovers from one of them. Okay, I guess I'm going to get my scoring board out. Hopefully I don't screw this up. It would be my luck to screw this up on camera. I've made attempts to make videos before. I'd screw the project up, have to go back and fix it, and end up just not posting a video. Well, I'm hoping I could post this one. <laughs> Cross your fingers that I don't mess this up. See how this folds over. See if this does it right. Oh man, this cardstock is supposed to be premium cardstock, but it seems awfully thin. Okay, I think I got it. I think this is going to be a pretty cute note card. Okay. That's pretty much where I want it. I would normally use my ATG, but I'm running low on ATG tape. I need to get out and get some. Get out the Michaels. But this stuff here, this Elmer's, I got it at Walmart. And I got refills for it. It actually works pretty good. Okay, so that's, this is what I have so far. I put my background piece right here. This is where my little message is going to go to Tammy. I'm going to try to make a commitment to use my Cricut more. I got lazy. Uh, and so I have to haul my laptop into my craft room, hook it up to my Cricut, cut it, I usually have to clear my craft desk. My craft space is very, very small. I don't have a lot of room. And sometimes I just get lazy and I just pull out my cuddle bug with my Sizzix dies. And I, that's usually what I use. Now this here is, according to the cartridge that I was, um, is that the the birdcage is supposed to go on top like this. Okay, so... I'm going to get out one of my glue pens and one of my scrap papers. Oh, this is going on a project, too. I wanted to show this. this 
Sorry about that, folks. My battery actually died on me, which is surprising. They're diehard batteries. I didn't have them in my camera very long. They died. Well, anyhow, um, I have this SVG on my blog. I cut it out out of chipboard. I painted it with Tim Holtz. Um, it was crackle paint. It was picket fence, cra um, distress crackle paint. And then I took um, some of the, a, a couple colors. I used um, weathered wood distress ink and I used well and peeled paint and did a little bit of inking on it to make it look pretty weathered. But I'll show you that pro that afterward um, on another video, my project when that's done. <coughs> okay, now I need to get my birdcage onto my card. I like these big pens. Let's hope that there's enough glue in this and it's not dried up. Haven't used this in a long time. Maybe I'll use this one. This one's a little bit fatter. This has more stuff in it, too. Gotta get around the edges here. Gotta remember, do not glue the inside. I'm just gonna glue my card shut. Okay. Now we gotta get this placed. On here. Like this. And that's what we have so far. Pretty cute. Then, I think I am going to take... I'm going to take one of my markers. And, li and, oops, I think I colored him on the wrong side. Doesn't matter. It's getting glued down anyhow. I'm going to make an eye here. And then my little birdie going to go inside. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to pop them up on a little bit of foam tape here. To make them pop a little bit. I don't want them too high, or else the car is not going to close. Then I want to position him where, see his, and this is what the the car is supposed to look like after you have everything on it. But of course, I'm not happy with just leaving it like that. Um, let's see, what else can I do? I'm thinking maybe... 
some pearls down towards the bottom. I'm still going to put a sentiment on this somehow. Not, there's not a whole lot of room when this card is finished. I got these real little tiny pearls at a really good price from the Mass Store Mini Album Scraps Store. Haven't used them yet. So, now I got some my craft knife because that's the easiest way for me to get these off. I think I'm going to put some pearls along the bottom of the bird cage here. one week in February where Cricket Craft Room actually had this cartridge as their free cartridge for the week. I like that they do that because it gives you a chance to play with the cartridges and see if you really want to buy it or not. Okay, so there I've got my pearls at the bottom. And that's my card. I'll probably pu I'll put a sentiment somehow, like maybe along the top of the bird cage here, like a hello, stamp a hello on a little piece of card and pop it up. Okay, thank you for watching. That was my little card for today. Bye.